I really don't think this project is feasible from that sort of social point of view. To give up your whole life on earth, to give up everything you know, everything you love, everything you have, everything that makes you who you are. I think that that does intimate to a degree that you don't feel like you belong where you are. Sakar, I just play with my friends. It's nothing professional. When I'm on the soccer field, I feel like I'm the king. I think uh, during our lives, one of our aims is to, to not form too many attachments to this transient world that we live in. We're all guests on this planet. This planet's been here far longer than we have and it will continue to be here far after we've gone. Um, so I, I don't uh, believe in forming attachments. You want water? Okay, I'll get you some. Oh, you know where it is. Wow, clever girl. Oh, let me help, this cup is too soft. Oh, it's finished. Oh, sorry. It's finished. I'll get you some. I constantly challenge myself by placing myself in new environments, and I, I believe that everybody should strive for this. I think the, the allure of the unknown has always felt far more powerful than the comfort of the known to me. To live in a comfortable environment is kind of a like a, a deplorable thought to me, actually. And we need to think seriously about the possibility that we will exterminate ourselves in the next hundred years. I think in order to prevent that, we need to keep dreaming. I, I, I'm doing a mechanical engineering in Amrita. Yeah. A girl in mechanical engineering is really good. You had a dream. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to explore space, but uh, this was different, you know. Going to another planet was, I, I didn't actually expect that. <laughs> So, what does your parents Maybe feet? some, maybe some, po uh, some point okay in your Okay, as of now. Something it's big. Supporting or? It's something big. It's in India, it's considered like girls, if it's a girl, you, you can't do anything on your own. You can't go places on your own. You can't choose a course uh, that you want to study on your own. If my parents were still together, I wouldn't have had a lot of freedom. I mean, he would have uh, restricted me in a lot of things. He wouldn't have let me take a course Mechanical engineering, for example, it, it's usually a course taken in India only by guys, usually. So even, even if it's something like that, I don't think he would have agreed to it. very strong relationship with my parents and especially with my mother. Sometimes see her also as a, as a friend, not, not just my mom. There was a, a competition between the, the attention of my mother, especially between me and my father, uh, because we are very uh, emotional, very lovely each other. Maybe sometimes my father, uh, I uh, may have felt that mm, my mother loves me more than uh, how much she loves uh, my father. My father uh, didn't want 
uh, only a, a partner, but also a second mother. Was it apricot chutney? Apricot. Uh, lentils, ginger. fresh ginger, minced. Yogurt. Uh, is that everything? Okay. We had been dating for a few months, and she got the letter that she was forwarding to round two. Well, she may have told me before, but I don't think I was really paying attention. But that's when I really discovered what it was about. <laughs> I don't think she caught the one-way part until that round two letter came in. Initially, I was pretty upset about the idea. And, uh, and I have my moments, you know, but I try to stay as present as possible and support her because <laughs> It's one of her dreams. I'm gonna dedicate this one to you, Sue Ann. My beautiful bullet who wants to go to Mars. <laughs> ah, I have a plan. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> that girl, she lives in your head. She sleeps in a bed, but never alone. That girl, she's spiking your drink. Sink and driving you home. 